Go on one more interesting Brilliant. point about this song. Yeah. Go on then. This, if you're looking at the screen. Do you know about the fade out guy that used to do in the 80s to get cocaine budgets? Mm, there was like no. a naivety amongst like ma- major label dudes. So like people who were like really on the sesh and they were like making records, they would put a bit of a budget to the side for the fade out guy. So they would they would fly <laughs> in a guy who like is perfect at doing the fade out. And um, obviously those guys don't exist because you'd have to be stupid to believe that. But that's where they got uh, a lot of their budget for racket, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> I tried it, but Jamie didn't believe in the fade out guy. <laughs> Go on one more interesting Brilliant. point about this song. Yeah. Go on then. This, if you're looking at the screen, this is the EQ on the lead vocal, which is insane. That's how dark it is. How can they look at the screen? Because they're recording. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. So like, usually on a pop song, the vocal EQ would probably look more like that. Right. And this is... Way darker. Minus nine db the other way and it's incredibly dark right um big bold and why does that work because the the song is so sparse it, right the the vocal is not struggling at all ever to, like it could she was part of the air force i was part of the I mean, band right I used to, to be honest that was actually the double and my, my, my Does that dark the lead lead is still now I'm getting good at Ozzy Osbourne's the best at doubling vocals like ever. that would be normal yeah you're right and this is where we're at it's nice it's warm <laughs> 